Climate change, a hot button issue, and while people may disagree on the causes, there is data showing we are warmer and wetter here in Northeast Wisconsin compared to 10 years ago. I spoke with an expert trying to help farmers prepare if this trend continues. Is this the trend we're in, or is this real change that this is the way uh, the weather's going to be for the for the long term. It's the million dollar climate question and one farmers are trying to answer. We see precipitation actually going up maybe around 10 percent over the next 30 to 40 years but a lot of that is going to be more in the winter so we're seeing wetter years but if our average temperature in the winter is warmer is it does it mean less snowfall and more of that precipitation in the form of rain or ice that kind of thing. So how do we, uh, we may see wetter years, but if it's in the winter, you know, how do we manage that, that spring runoff and those kind of things. So that's where we start to look at the management of residue in the fields uh, more closely, uh, buffer strips, contour stripping, those kind of things to try to really handle the water quality that's coming, or the water that's coming off the field and making sure that it's not full of nutrients and we're losing the nutrients that farmers want to keep on the field and it's ending up in surface waters or groundwater. Temperatures are also predicted to increase on average in our region. That warmer weather means farmers will be looking for new solutions to keep their animals cool. It could also impact what crops we grow. We've seen the, the growing degree units or the zone map uh, start to change even over the last 10 to 20 years. And so we're, we've seen where uh, maybe Green Bay or uh, the central part of Wisconsin starts to move up a little bit further. And across the country, what used to be maybe central Illinois or central Nebraska is now bumping up against the bottom of Wisconsin, the southern border of Wisconsin. So does that whole corn belt begin to shift a little bit further north and does that change our cropping situations or do we have um, less snow cover so alfalfa is more at risk to, free, uh, to winter kill and these kind of things. So what can farmers do to prepare? The short term answer is not a lot right now, but I think managing water is probably the biggest thing they can do, especially if they have um, you know, fields that are sloped and the runoff and, and how can they manage soil erosion. They can do a lot of decisions with their tillage operations and, and harvesting and those kind of things. From a livestock or dairy livestock producer, you know, it's keeping those animals cooler. So if we're going to have warmer temperatures in the summer or at least uh, even increased humidity, how do we keep those cattle cooler in the summer? and then um, you know, doing those management things in order to keep production where they are if we're dealing with higher temperatures and more humidity. There are some producers already making investments to try and cope with the added moisture. So we've seen increase in drain tile and drainage systems in order to get that soil to dry out a little bit quicker and there again you get into water quality issues. Where does that tile discharge and how do we handle our our drainage systems with, with ditches and roadways and culverts. And we've even seen some communities try to deal with increased uh, rainfall events. You know, we've had a few of these uh, cities and villages around the state have to make some major changes or decisions because they've had like two or three hundred year events in the last ten years.